Hi, I'm Allison. Welcome to our Simplicity YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy no-sew tutu, just like this one over here. Let's get started. What you'll need for this no-sew tutu is the Simplicity pattern, six rolls of 25-yard length tool for the short version. If you want to do the long version, you do eight ro rolls of tool. Scissors, three-quarters inch elastic, needle and thread, safety pins, glue, paper puncher, and of course, your glitter paper. When you open up your Simplicity pattern, you're going to get two pieces. The longer one is for the larger tutu. We're going to use the smaller one now. Take your roll of tool and measure it so it fits with the pattern, and you're going to cut it right on the end. Now, 175 strips of these is going to take a quite a long time. A quick tip is to take a box you have laying around your house and as long as the box is bigger than the pattern, it should work great. When you wrap the tool around the box, make sure you clip it with a binder clip or um, a safety pin, and so that when you cut it, it doesn't poof everywhere. After you wrap your tool around, take your scissors and cut. After you're done cutting, roll it out of the box so that it fits with your pattern. Now, since you didn't measure it before, you're going to have to cut a little excess now. Our pattern is lined up actually pretty good, so we only have to cut a little bit right off the end. Now this is about 30 strips of tool wrapped around that box. 175 might not work, so drew it, wrap it around 30 times, cut it, and then wrap it around again 30 times, and then cut it again. And then you'll get all your strips of tool. Now since it's all lined up with the pattern, we are ready to start tying it. Our first step is we're going to take our three-quarter inch elastic and tie it around your waist so it fits nicely, and then you're going to add another three inches for the overlap. Then you're going to take your scissors, cut it right down, being careful. Now we're going to take our three-quarter inch elastic that we cut to fit our waist, and we're going to bring it with the extra three inches, and now we're going to secure it with the safety pin. And after we do this, we're going to bring it to the back, and now we can put the tool on. Now we're going to start putting our bits of tool on our waistband. You're going to fold it in half, making sure the bottoms are even. You're going to take the loop part and stick it under the waistband. Put the tails right through the loop and tie it right against your finger so you have something to go against so you're not pulling at the elastic. And then just make sure that knot stays at the bottom of the waistband so that your waistband lays flat and doesn't poof out. Then take your next one, the same thing. Make sure the ends are even. Bring the loop down. Take your tails and put them through. Stick your finger right in that loop. And sort of tug on it until it nicely falls. We're going to be doing a lot of them, so we're going to squish a lot of them together right on the end. Take the tails and pull it in, and then kind of just tie it around so the knot situates itself on the bottom of the waistband so that it lays flat against your waist. And we're going to bunch them all together so it's going to give that extra poof. This is great because you don't need to know how to sew. You don't need a sewing machine. And you could just do this fairly quickly. So I've done a lot and it's only been a little bit of time. And you just keep going, filling up all the space on your elastic and keep pushing it to the side so it bunches up. And your knots do not have to be perfect. The great part about this is that it's very messy. So even if you mess up with a knot or your tool gets stuck together, you could just keep going and no one would notice. The more layers of tool you use, the more strips, the bigger it'll get. So if you want a smaller one that doesn't take up so much space, you could use a lesser amount of strips of tool. If you want it really big, then just keep adding them. So now we only have two more strips left. After doing over 170 strips. So now the same thing we've been doing, you take the tail, put it through the loop, make sure that knot stays secure on the bottom. Last one. And you spin your tutu around, fluff it up a little bit, 
Now you could wear this on your waist or you could bring it down lower and wear a little bit lower down, whatever you feel comfortable with. And now we're going to put on the stars. Now I've used a safety pin to secure my tutu, but you could also use a needle and thread, whichever you like. So now we're going to cut out our stars. So take your paper puncher and you have a star. Now we're going to do a few more of them. Now you're going to take your stars and dip them in a little bit of glue. I used white glue. You could pretty much use anything and it'll stick. So you dip it and then you stick it wherever you like. There you go. Now we're going to continue to do these with the other ones. I'm using glitter stars. You could also use little gemstones, rhinestones, a different type of glitter. It doesn't have to be glitter. Use whatever you like. So I already decorated my tutu, but I decided to make it Wonder Woman, so I got the Simplicity applique. Look how it turned out, it's so cute. Thank you so much for watching this. The stuff you need is right down below to make this tutu. Also, subscribe to our Simplicity YouTube channel. And let me know how I did on this tutu, and let me know other ideas that you'd like to see from our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.